Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it is a rainy one here on the mountain this morning, guys. Uh, it's finally stopped raining. Slacked down a little bit where I could actually get out and record this. And I am uh, joined by the supervisor and the inspector. I'm out walking around this morning, kind of getting a game plan of things that need to kind of happen around here. I'm over here in the area where the goats were. And as you can see, it is completely cleared out, but there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be gotten up for this area. I need to get all of these rocks and stuff and the trash and all the different sticks and stuff like that up in this area good morning domino what are you doing good morning good morning domino didn't want to come out earlier in the rain and i uh, used the bathroom rider rider what are you doing but i did get the goat shelter done in time uh if you look back at the very minute of this you can actually see it in the background not going to quite show it yet um you can kind of see what it ended up in the background there but uh, i'll be editing that video today being that it's raining i don't know if it actually get out today or tomorrow it is uh about 11 o'clock so more than likely it's going to be tomorrow but uh i'm going to try for today but yeah uh we're supposed to get rain a couple more times this week I believe that we're going to start getting a lot more rain here now that summer is coming to an end and fall is about to start. So I'm going to have to start working around Mother Nature a little bit and there's still a lot of stuff that's got to get done. Uh, as soon as I get a couple of odds and end things done, we're going to get started back on the tiny house. Probably going to start on the outside of it. Um, for the big project, I do already have all the trim. For the bathroom area, I am going to go ahead and burn that, stain it, and polyurethane it so the wood doesn't get all messed up out in the weather. And go ahead and get that done. Um, that shouldn't be but like a, well it'll be a two day project because you have dry time and stuff with the polyurethane. So that should only be about a two day project. Get that knocked out, that way that's behind me. Then I'm going to jump back outside and start finishing up the outside part. I need to... Uh, Get the roof part on the outdoor kitchen there and there might be some big changes guys coming to the outdoor kitchen uh, i'm thinking about a different option there um, we'll talk about that a little bit more whenever i decide what i want to do there but i think that the new plan i got is going to work a whole lot better than it just being an outdoor kitchen so stay tuned for that uh, that's definitely coming i'm probably going to end up putting a poll on my membership thing on the main channel for the uber bosses uh, which is the top tier on that membership uh, one of the perks of that membership is to be able to uh, vote on big changes that are going to happen on the mountain to kind of help but uh, i also take into account your guys's uh comments and stuff in here as well and then kind of put it all together and then kind of make an informed decision on kind of what i want to do um i love all of y'all suggestions and uh y'all come up with some good ideas and stuff for me and uh i've just been looking at that outdoor kitchen and just to be an outdoor kitchen i almost feel like it's a waste of space i won't be able to utilize it year round so got some things coming there i think it's going to be cool i think y'all are going to like it and uh whenever i'm ready to announce it and stuff then uh y'all can give me your thoughts on it and any ideals as far as adding to the the change but i think it's going to work i've been i've been doing a lot of thinking on it here this last week week and a half and i have talked to a couple of people and got their thoughts and stuff like that i think it could be something that's really cool and it won't really cost a whole lot more to do. Um, there will be a little bit of expense into it. But I think for what I'm going to gain out of it, I think it's a justified expense. So we'll see. 
Oh, my beard's looking red today in this light. It's a gloomy one though, guys. It's a gloomy one today. Uh, I'm also going to have to figure out something for the grass here soon because with the rain and everything, it is steady growing. And uh, with the other lawnmower blowing up, I'm going to have to uh, work on my original lawnmower and see if I can get it going or something. Um, my goal is to get a zero turn this winter and uh, make my life a little bit easier out here. But I'd like to get by it in the winter when the prices are a little bit cheaper because they are proud of them. I know it. Good morning. I called you earlier, but you was over there cleaning yourself, just not paying attention. Uh, I don't know where Domino went. Domino! <whistles> where did he go? He don't want on a walkabout somewhere. I know he ain't liking the rain. Where's Domino at, Ryder? There's no telling with him. I don't know where he went off to. He went exploring somewhere. It's probably not going to be too long of a one today, guys. Oh, look, there's Midnight. Hey, Midnight. Domino! Good morning, Midnight. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, you gonna let me pet you this morning? Good morning. Good morning. There's Domino. Welcome back, man. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You went on a little adventure? Trying to get y'all out here for a little walk while the rain stopped. Midnight, what are you doing this morning? A lot of people ask me how I tell the difference between the two. Ryder is bigger than Midnight and also mannerisms. Yeah, you see them together. Ryder is a whole lot thicker than his sister. And also, Midnight has a lot of white hair right there, up underneath. <laughs> Are you checking the camera out, Midnight? So, that's really how I tell. Um, they're definitely a completely different personality. So, even if they looked identical, you'd be able to tell them apart. Ryder is much more affectionate and loving and very aggressive with the attention. And Midnight is a little bit more shy and standoffish. But now we have turned a corner. And pretty much any time I want to give her some loving, she will sit there and let me. I've, I found her spots where she really, really likes and stuff. And uh, we officially turned the corner. It just took forever to get done. Ain't that right, pretty girl? Ain't that right? And also, she sets like a little lady all the time, don't you? Don't you set like a little lady all the time? Hey, yeah, yeah, right here's her favorite spot, right there, and then back here where she can't really reach that good. Are you being jealous? Are you being jealous? Huh? Are you being a little jealous butt? Yeah, so just hanging out with the kiddos on this gloomy, gloomy day and trying to uh, do some back in work with emails and stuff like that and answering comments and about to go into the matrix and do some editing it's starting to sleep pretty good out here now guys and uh yeah just trying to get a lot of that done to make this uh rainy day still a productive day i am glad i was able to get the goat shelter finished before this rain came because we had a pretty good one this morning and it looks like it's just going to be one of those wet kind of days and uh, the goats are using it, and so is Eclipse. So it's working out really well. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I didn't do a whole lot on closing it 100% in right now because it still have hot days because summer's not quite over yet. 
but uh, when it gets closer to winter time on the two ends I'm gonna do a little bit more there to kind of winterize it a little bit more because right now it'd be like a greenhouse in there on those hot days if I did it right now so but uh, I think it turned out pretty good I can't wait for you guys to see it so make sure that you go over to come on homesteading and subscribe and hit the notification bell because like I said that video is coming out tomorrow or today and uh, we got a lot more coming on this uh, structure right here behind me I am ready to get it going I'm ready to get all of this done so I can move on to another project more than likely it's gonna be the shop more than likely yeah. in this winter a whole lot of infrastructure putting up fences and stuff like that so we got a lot to do uh, to Domino to mid or nope rider oh no that was midnight I had it right the first time midnight and rider love every single one of you guys do something nice for somebody today take another step closer to your goals guys even if it's a micro step or a big old leap just uh move forward with it and we'll do this again and hopefully it's better weather tomorrow and we'll do a little bit longer one and who knows what we're gonna get into also um i want to say before i go that i enjoyed having white rock homestead out here yesterday it was absolutely amazing they are really 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 good people and uh i really appreciated them coming out and hanging out on come on mountain and getting to spend some time with them and getting them to know them even better uh the he is ex-military and she is a nurse and uh so just really really great people it was really great to have them out here on september the 11th um it was just a real real special time with those guys if you have not went over there and checked their channel out yet i will put it right here and it'll also be in the description it's white rock homestead really really good people and i think you guys will end up seeing a lot more